Hey everyone, I went shopping at EB Games yesterday and they had a bunch of stuff that was on sale. I also went to Zing because uh, they had this um, uh, two for one uh, pop deal going on. Now I'm not a pop collector, I just collect certain subject matters and um, they had one pop which I knew I wanted and then I spent like an hour searching for another pop because there was like a very specific section that you could pick from and I couldn't find one so I just picked one that wasn't necessarily a fan of but I liked the look of it so I'll show you that one in a minute. But um, some other stuff has shown up from eBay and I figured I'd show you that stuff at the same time. So yeah, first up we have this. This is Britney Spears' uh, CD that came with uh, that perfume there, the Circus Fantasy perfume. And on this they have a special club mix of the uh, Circus song as well as Kill the Lights. And um, they actually sound really good. I listened to that um, club mix and it's, it's like nine minutes long and it's, it's really nice. It's a really good beat that it's got with it. Um, I paid like seven dollars for this on eBay which is a really good deal. I jumped on it as soon as I saw it because people want up to 50 bucks for this on eBay. So yeah, that's one I wanted to pick up for a while and um, yeah, super happy to get that. Next up, we have some Ariana Grande uh, vinyl records. Um, I went to JB Hi-Fi to buy this one, her album Sweetener, and uh, it was like 70 bucks. I was like, what the hell? So um, I went on eBay and I managed to find this lot um, for, I think it was $119 including shipping. Uh, like the actual vinyls are like 99 bucks and I was like $99 for all three of them I'm like sold because that's like a discount of like 40 bucks of what you'd have to pay to buy them separately so um yeah I got Sweetener um, Dangerous Woman um, these are Folgates by the way I should have shown the other one so there's that Um, I'll show you this one because this is a fold gate as well. So there's those two, and there's yours truly. Now this one's a fold gate as well, but only one side of it has a vinyl in it. So um, yeah, I don't know why that's a fold gate, but I do like fold gates because there's um more room for artwork on it. So I mean that's basically why I buy these things is for the artwork. Because anyone can get a CD, but CDs are kind of boring to look at on the shelf. But a nice big vinyl like this, and it's, yeah, I'm kind of old school like that, but... Now just before we get to the pops, I'm going to show you this. This is the Overwatch Ultimate Carbon Series. Um, I got this on sale at EB Games, and I was super thrilled to get this. I mean, look at that price, 160 bucks. Like, I would have been so pissed off if I was one of those launch day buyers and I paid 160 bucks for this and then saw it on sale for 25 bucks. I would have been pissed. But, um, fortunately, I wasn't a launch day buyer. And, uh, yeah, picked it up for 25 bucks. And I picked it up mostly for the Diva figure. So, um, yeah, all the other ones are just bonuses to me. So, um, yeah, I'm uh, pretty happy about that. Once I have my display case set up and everything, I haven't bought it yet, so I don't know why I say once I've had it set up. Once I actually buy a display case, I am gonna take these out and display them. Cause yeah, I'm just like that. I'm the collector that likes to enjoy my stuff. I don't like to just keep it locked in a box. Apart from the pops, the pops are a different case, but things like this, I, don't, I want to display them. So onto the pops. Um, back there you can see all the um, pops that I've already bought in the past. Um, I've shown them in past videos, so um, I put them there for reference. So a while back I actually bought this um, Britney Spears pop here. So this is just the standard pop and I saw this one at the store the other day, um, just randomly, and I wasn't even looking for it, but this is a special edition uh, Britney Spears pop. And what makes it special edition is that basically it has um, metallic paint on it. Um, if you look at this one here, this has just got the normal uh, painted sort of colors on it. And this one here, it's kind of really hard to show. You can kind of see that snake there, how metallic it looks. That's because, um, yeah, it's got the uh, metallic paint on the clothing, the snake, the uh, microphone piece, and uh, this one here. Uh, the snake is just the normal yellow color and so are her clothes, they're just the normal colors. And then you have the metallic painting on this one. So yeah. And I um they also had this uh, pop protector um, at the store for 10 bucks, so I picked this one up. They only had one, which I was actually happy about because if they had more I would have bought them. 
and these ones suck. This lid does not even stay on. You have to like tape it down or something. So I'm gonna buy um, different pop um, storage protectors where the lid actually is securely on there. So um, yeah. These aren't really pops, but um, yeah, I paid $2.50 for this uh, Summer Games uh, Diva. And uh, yeah, I like the artwork on the box quite a lot. So um, yeah, $2.50 for that. And this one I paid five bucks for. Now this one, I actually had my eye on, like last year when I first saw this, um, it was like $38 or something. And uh, I was like, 38 bucks? Because, it's because I bought this one here, um, Diva with her mecha, and um, this one here was only $33. And so at the time I was thinking, I'm not paying $38 for this one, when this one only costs $33, and this is much better quality. But um, yeah, this was uh, like really marked down to five bucks because they obviously hadn't sold them all. So um, I was really lucky and I was like, yep, five bucks, I'll take that. So um, yeah. But again, it doesn't change my opinion about it. This one here is still not as high quality as the, uh, the pop vinyl version because um, it's just, it's just isn't, it really just isn't. It's not bad, but it's just, I didn't think it was worth 38 bucks. Lastly, this, is, um, this one's actually the reason I went to EB Games in the first place. Um, I saw this on EB Games website. It is the uh, Diamond Edition uh, Pop of Diva. And um, yeah, I, I pre-ordered this online and it was all wrapped up for me and everything. I didn't even think to check it, which um, yeah, really annoyed me now. But um, yeah, the box is damaged there. And then you have the tear there. It's just, um, yeah, it's, it's not in good shape. So I was really unhappy about that. And um, I, I thought about going back and complaining, but I thought, oh, whatever. Um, so I've ordered another one online this time. So that way, if it's crap, I can just send it back and get another one. But um, yeah, it, it just gives me the opportunity to take this one out of its box and display it while the other one stays nicely in its box, I guess. So, um, yeah. Um, Diamond Edition Pops, for anyone that doesn't know, uh, it's basically... Where's my other one? Um, so these two are basically the same. Uh, but you can see this one here. The clothes are, like, all glittery. Um, God, it's so hard. I wish I had my lights here. Um, you can see in this one, her clothes are, like, all glittery. Whereas in this one, they're just, like, normal. Glittery. So that's what Diamond Editions are. Um, basically a way for them to make more money from suckers like me. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So, uh, that's where I'll leave this one, because that's all I have to show you. I'm going to be, uh, getting back to editing. I'm going to do a little more editing tonight, and then, um, I'm going to bed. Because it's, like, 11 o'clock at night. So, uh, yeah. Until next time, bye!